All right, so I'm back out again. Um, I've been eyeballing this day. Today's Thursday. I've been eyeballing this day for a while because every time the weather spikes up a little bit, I try to make it out. It's supposed to be around the highs in the 60s today. Absolutely perfect. Really wanted to hit the mountains, but it's that I didn't really want to drive that far this time. And so actually, I've been researching this little stretch of the South Platte that's down in Denver, actually. And so from what I've read, during the warmer months, there's a lot of different fish, different bass, sometimes even some walleye, and a lot of carp. But when it's colder, there's a good amount of trout that can be caught. So I was pretty excited. It's a short distance from downtown Denver. It would only take me about 30 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna walk around a little bit and just check it out before I get all my gear on here. So without getting a huge glare, I know that there's a giant Chatfield Dam, I think it is. It's maybe down here. And the South Platte runs through this way, up and all into downtown Denver. We're right here right now. I think I'm gonna try to check out just this stretch. Um, right above C470 here, or just northbound of C470, and see what we can find. Already starting the trail off, there's a nice set of bathrooms right here, and a huge pavement that goes around, and I believe this is what follows the South Platte later on. There's also a bunch of lakes here to the sides of the trail. It's a bit icy over here, but I'm gonna walk over to this dock and just see what I can see over it. The water gets pretty deep actually, and there's a thin layer of ice. It's super duper clear, but I don't see any fish um, at all through there. It's a really cool dock. I think I'm just gonna go grab my stuff and then check out that map again and see where I need to go first to get along this stretch of river. There's this wildlife gazebo thing up on this hill here. I might go check that out when I'm done, just to kind of look over this area. But it looks like I could have drove a little bit farther to this parking lot, so I might move my car over here, which puts me closer to the South Platte, and then start there. It's funny because usually I'm the one with the biggest camera when I'm fishing, but I guess this is a pretty popular park. There's a ton of people with way bigger cameras and humongous lenses and giant tripods, so I'm the little guy today. I was a little worried when I first arrived. There was uh, just one spot left and I was lucky to grab it. I mean, it's not that bad of a drive. It was just a short distance. I could have made the walk. Um, I don't know what to think. I've, I've read that there's some giant, like 10, even to 40 pound carp in here. And so I don't want to accidentally get one and break everything. So I am debating between my four weight and five weight, though I guess it's not the smallest difference. I think I'm gonna take the five weight out again. I'm going nine foot. I considered doing the small one, but it looks like since I don't have waders, I'm gonna be doing some casting in there. So I just want to be prepared. I'm gonna set it up all here, kind of and just walk with it instead of taking it out there. So I'm gonna start off today with my trusty hair's ear. Um, it's doing really well for me lately. So I'm gonna go with that. Trailed by this small olive bead-headed midge I've got. And I think I'm gonna do a third today and put this tiny copper john even farther back and see how that goes for me. When I arrived, a gal was coming this way and got into her car next to me. I was thinking she was leaving, and she actually did the same thing I did. She went and scouted the area, got her equipment, and then just took off. So hopefully that's a good sign. I saw my first dam over here, so I'm going to start making my way to the water. Bunch of hands from crawdads and crayfish. Thank 
I've been out here for a bit and I uh, haven't had any luck. Haven't even seen any fish, but I have seen a lot of fishermen, so hopefully that's a good sign. But I'm just gonna keep following the South Platte down, finding spots, keep fishing. These look pretty fresh, still like attached together. There's tons in here. So I should have started with this, but I started digging in the rocks and found out there's a bunch of bright blue colored scuds so I'm going to try a small scud actually and change this up. And behind that I'm going to trail my trusty tiny pheasant tail nymph. This has always done great things for me so hopefully this will work again. anything attached. Finally got one. I've been fishing this back hole closer to the dam because I was about to leave actually and then I picked up at the end and I had a nice sized trout on. I got the net so I keep it in the water. Look at that guy. That's awesome. Woo! Nice rainbow. All right I'm gonna put this back. Maybe there's a few more in here. Well, now that I successfully actually just caught one, I think I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. Um, it's still early, it's only like 3.20. See if I can catch a few more before I take off. The weather is great. I got to take off my jacket, the sun's out. Maybe that's the problem, it's a little bit too warm. Luckily I found this deep pool here that's right after this last small dam, which is the last one before the big dam, Chatfield Dam, I think. I found this using GPS.
Took the scud again. Nice rainbow. Not as big as the last time, if I can get it in. Super nice fish, nice little female. Ooh, I gotta cross this that I crossed earlier. I crossed it a different area. My shoes are already wet anyway, so whatever. Woo! <laughs> Thank goodness for Gore-Tex. Check this out. Super peaceful spot. I spent all day walking all the way downstream and finally went up and found a couple solid places I like that I can come back to in the future. See how we can get out here. It's getting kind of late now. And I got to that point where, of course, I was doing one more cast, one more cast, one more cast, and it was really hard to leave just because every time, I was like, okay, that was the last cast. Then I'd see a fish jump, or I'd see a fish dart over. I'm lucky I found that last spot, too. After that first one, I walked downstream a bit. Ooh, I'm kind of lost now. Um, after that first one, I walked downstream a bit, and there was this really nice little bend with a decent deep pocket, so I decided to give it a go, and I casted in one time and got one and lost it, so I was determined that that it is getting kind of colder now. I might have to bust up my jacket if I can't walk to the car fast enough. I got some friends coming over, so I gotta get back and figure out what's going on. It's like a maze. How do I get back to the street? Um, overall though, really cool spot. I mean, I only caught a few, but it's still nice to be able to go super duper close to home. And it'd be really cool to see these waters produce some other kind of fish. I've never really caught bass and stuff on a fly rod, but I think that'd be pretty neat. The nice sunset coming in to see if I can steal that quick before I get off and go and well, I was actually just about to fly, and the ranger came up. Park's closing too, so I gotta get out of here. Um, maybe I could try to find a time lapse somewhere. Like the third person that's asked me about it. Me? <laughs> My roommate is debating between that and the, the new Tacomas is the thing. And so...